14. Indicate what type or types of reaction each of the following represents. And then we have letter D. So in this case, we have PBNO32 plus H2SO4 yields PBSO4 and then plus HNO3. Okay, so we've done tons of problems like this already. So this one will kind of be like a quickened version a little bit, but in, a, in any case, right, it looks like I have four different compounds. So as we've seen before in the previous lessons, and if you guys want to check them out if you haven't already, there's a, a playlist. If you, uh, the, the button will be at the end of the video for this video, okay? So you can check that playlist out. Um, so anyway, here, right, we have basically lead, PB, mixing up with NO3. And know your polyatomics, guys, okay? NO3 is nitrate. So PB is hooking up with nitrate, right? That's how this compound is formed. And then we have H2SO4. H is reacting, well, it came together with, and if I just make this a little bit of a color here, SO4. This is also a polyatomic. It is sulfate. But now when these reacted, the products were formed and it looked like lead is now with the sulfate. So I have my sulfate here mixed with my lead. And then what's left over? Well, let's see if my lead decided he wanted to go with sulfate, what colors are left over? Oh, the H and the NO3 and oh, look, H and O3, they came together. So the NO3 was green, so I'll just draw that out. And then the H, which was the yellow, I got to change my colors a little bit. And then like that. So this is like a double swap, right? Lead didn't want to be with nitrate anymore. It wanted to be with sulfate. And because of that, you know, hydrogen had to mix up with uh, nitrate. So this idea is like swapping partners. If you see that, and especially, you know, if you see that you have four compounds across the board, technically it's going to be a double for two compounds, right? Double, one, two, and two lines you could think of it as as well. A double replacement reaction, replacement, or a double displacement depending on your teacher or professor. So that's like the overview, right? This reaction is a double replacement or a double displacement reaction. Sometimes your uh, teacher or professor may call this a metathesis reaction, but generally speaking, usually it's one of these two. But now we gotta you know, look a little bit deeper and see, well, maybe there are specific types of reactions that's happening here. In this case, let's look at the states. It seems like I had two aqueous compounds, right? And remember, aq just means that you are going to dissolve in the solution, okay? So aqueous means that that compound will dissolve and it will break up into its ions. Remember, the ions are just the charged molecule or the charged atom of the ones that are in the compound. So this compound would break down in solution because it's aqueous, and this compound will break down, right? They will dissolve, but the products form a solid. If you form a solid from two aqueous matter, you formed a precipitate. A precipitate is a fancy word of saying a solid. So precipitate, solid, tomato, tomato. Since you formed a solid from your dissolved components, technically you would have a ionic, a complete ionic equation, and then you would be able to get your net ionic equation. And those come from a precipitation reaction. That's ugly. Precip precipitation reaction. 
So this type of reaction is occurring because you're looking at the states. You had aqueous and aqueous, but you formed a solid. But then you have some byproduct, right? You have aqueous material here, but this is what's important. You formed a solid compound from aqueous matter, and that's a precipitation reaction. So this one, technically, the bigger scheme is the double replacement or the double displacement, but then if you look a little closer, it's actually a precipitation reaction. And that's it. Guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments if this helped you out. If it did, click the like button, hit that subscribe button. It gets the word out there all over the world that this service exists, and I thank you so much for that. You guys rock. You guys have been so awesome. Um, I love hearing from, from all of you, and I really hope that you're doing well in your chem class. Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys all in the next lesson, okay? Have a great day. Bye-bye.